Josh here from Advanced Coupons, and I just wanted to explain the difference between two of our interesting features. Uh, one is called One Click Apply Notification, and the other one is called Auto Apply Coupon. Now, they're very, very similar um, in that they both attempt to automatically apply a coupon for a customer, thus removing some of the work for the customer. You know, the theory being that if the customer has to do less work, they're more likely to take up your deal. So the, um, the, the main difference between these two, and I'll just show you on the screen here. So this is the, the one-click apply notifications. Um, what this does is shows the customer when they're eligible for a coupon, um, they will show a notification message. Uh, and you can put uh, something like, you know, congrats. Uh, you are eligible for some coupon deal, click here to apply. And you can apply the coupon with just a button click and you can change uh, the, the notice notification type. It's a just a WooCommerce notification. Um, so success often comes up green in most themes. Um, now for this notification to show, you actually do need to use the cart conditions. So cart conditions are there to protect your coupon from being applied by people that shouldn't be applying it. So they must satisfy the conditions before they can apply that coupon. And we actually use the cart conditions. Um, you know, you can add a, a group or something like that and check for, you know, whether a, a product category exists in the cart um, and in certain uh, quantities and stuff like that. So like if we put in t-shirts um, and, you know, it'll, it'll actually check that you know, the, there are products on the cart with, with that particular category, or you can, you can do things like product specific product quantities. Um, let me just demo that real quick. So say if there were, if you want to apply this coupon, but only when, um, they have at least, at least one pair of, um, sorry, more than one pair of sunglasses. So they need to have two or more. Um, you can add that. Uh, the other ones you can do, you can add, add multiple conditions there, uh, but you could do like off the, the cart subtotal. So you get the idea where um, you, you want to check for a specific um, condition to be true before actually letting them apply the coupon. Um, so for example, cart, uh, cart subtotal more than 99, so it means they have to have $100 or more in their cart. Uh, and when you have that saved um, and you also have this one-click apply notification, enabled, it will go and check those cart conditions. And when it does match true, when those cart conditions are satisfied, it will show this notification on the cart. So that's really, really handy because they don't need to know the coupon code or anything about the coupon code. They can just one click apply and uh, get that deal. Now, the other one I wanted to show you was the auto apply coupon. Now, these two are kind of, a, they're a little bit mutually exclusive. So I'd have to turn off that one click apply notification and enable this one. And what this will do is it'll just silently automatically apply that coupon. Now, this is really handy for situations where you're giving away free products. So if you want to add you know, uh, a certain product or something to the cart, you know, say if they buy something and uh, in the cart conditions you've checked for, for some condition and you want to give them a, a free belt. So you could say price override to $0 and add that in. So that'll when this coupon's applied, it'll add that, that free belt to the cart. Um, you can do this with auto apply coupons. So it will, again, it'll automatically check those cart, cart conditions. Once they match true, it will automatically apply that coupon. So that's the difference between the two. Um, this one, the auto apply coupon will not ask the customer whether they want to apply it or not. It'll just go ahead and apply it. Whereas the one click apply notification will ask them whether they want to apply it. Uh, and of course, both of them must have those cart conditions matching true. So that's uh, that's the difference between those two features and they're both very powerful features, uh, both great to use in, in different kinds of scenarios, different kind of deals. So I hope you found this little tutorial video helpful.